What about the way we write numbers? Is there anything strange about the way numbers are written down? Um, and it turns out that, that there might be. To, to figure this out, I need a volunteer, actually. Your hand shot up, yes. A round of applause for my volunteer as he comes up on stage. Um, now, I want to talk about numbers as they appear in, in, in real life. So I've got a copy of the Financial Times here. And if you look at the Financial Times, you read the Financial Times, yeah? Sure. Uh, <laughs> no, really, I'm joking. Okay, so uh, you'll notice that there are loads of numbers on there. There's a load of numbers down here. But even in the text, there's some numbers. Like there's a page number, there's dates, there's amounts of money. There's loads of different things. What I want you to do is randomly select 18 numbers from there. If you grab that, I'm just going to grab uh, this thing. Okay, here we go. So I want you to write uh, on the back of this um, whiteboard here. So if you get behind here, because I don't want to see you doing it, and I want you to select the numbers at random, right? I don't want you to think, hmm, is that a random number? Is that number random enough? I just want you to, as soon as you see a number, write it down. I want you to pick 18 of those, OK? And just write them down. Any old number. Any old number, but it has to be from, from here, from the front cover, somewhere on there. And just write it down. Great. So is there something unusual about the way we write numbers? Um, here is a load of uh, numbers that I've just written down. Um, I just came up with them off the top of my head. Um, and the thing that I want to focus on is the leading digit of numbers. That is the digit that numbers uh, start with. So uh, in, in the case of these numbers, I'm talking about those ones. Those are the leading digits, um, or, or the, the, the digit that these numbers start with. So numbers can have various different leading digits. So a number can have a leading digit of four. It can start with a four. It can start with a seven, for example. It can start with a one. So in fact, there are nine possible leading digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. We're not counting zero, because if a number starts with zero, we're interested in the first significant figure uh, after that one. How are we getting on? Uh, yeah, you can have decimals, you can write anything you like. Um, so, uh, can we make a prediction about the numbers that are being picked randomly from the front cover of the Financial Times? There are nine possible leading digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And my volunteer is choosing 18 numbers from the front cover of the Financial Times. So, on average, how many of those numbers might we expect to start with a one? Do we think two? Okay. How many might we expect to start with a nine? How many might we expect to start with a four? Yeah, OK. So all of these numbers, we'd expect them roughly uh, to come in two. So like we'd ex if we've got 18, we expect two of them to start with a one, two to start with a two, two to start with a three, two to start with a four, and so on, all the way down. How are we getting on? Almost done. Almost done, great. Well, I'm going to try and make a prediction now about the numbers that have been chosen uh, from the front cover of the Financial Times. I'm going to predict. I don't want to make the prediction until we're finished. Yes, nearly done. Yes, brilliant. A round of applause for my volunteer. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK, so we expect uh, about two of them to start with a one, about two of them to start with a nine. My prediction is that at least four of them will start with a one, uh, and that uh, no more than one of them will start with a nine. <laughs> right, let's see. OK, so we've got, how many ones have we got? Uh, one, two, three, four. How many nines have we got? One. Yes! 